What's going on on my creation RNs? I hope you all are having a wonderful day. I'm so excited to be back to you talking about the Travel Nurse series because there is just so much information and so little information that you can find on the internet sometimes in regards to travel nursing. So today's topic I wanna to discuss is what to expect on your first day on your new assignment. Stay tuned. So with anything, when you start a new job, or you start a new travel assignment, the first day is absolutely nerve wracking. It scared the bejesus out of me when I first started travel nursing because you're going to a brand new place where they expect you to know everything. They don't, ex they're not gonna teach you other than their policies and where things are located. But regards to general nursing, as well as ER knowledge, you have to know what you're doing. So what is it that happens on your first day on a travel assignment? So the first thing they do is you get to meet um, a preceptor slash mentor for the day. Some places that I have traveled to um, don't give you an orientation. They just have somebody kind of share an assignment with you or you're right next to their assignment so that if you have questions, they can answer it for you. However, you're kind of sometimes on your own. Um, you get to meet your preceptor in most cases if it's hopefully a good travel assignment and they actually kind of work an assignment with you, show you where everything's at, talk to you about specific paperwork that has to be filled out, policies that you need to know, um, things in general um, that are important to you in order for you to do your job. The other thing too, access. You're going to have to get a badge to make sure that you can access all the doors or you need to learn the code so that you can open up all the doors. You also need to get access to their um, PIXIS or the Omnicell or whatever it is they use for their medication administration. You need to get access to your computer. You need to make sure that you have access to a Spectralink or a phone or things of that nature. You just have to make sure that you have access. That probably will take up a couple hours of your morning just trying to get all that taken care of because honestly, I have not been to one assignment where all of that was already ready for me by the time that I get there. So three, you're gonna get a little bit of a tour. So like I said before, you're not gonna know where anything's located, you're not gonna know coasted doors, you might not have access, but you should at least get a tour. Um, certain things that you wanna make sure that you know where things are. You wanna know where the medication administration room is. You wanna make sure where your nourish room is so that you can get um, snacks as well as drinks for your patients. You need to know where your soiled utility closet is so that you can get rid of trash. Um, where the clean utility closet is so that you can get supplies. Um, you want to know where your code cart is. That is probably one of the most important things that you know on your first day in a travel assignment because by chance if your patient codes, you don't want to be that person screaming for help and trying to find the code cart while your patient's coding. Know where it's at, know where it's located. Um, make sure you know where the rooms are at. Um, certain hospitals have different pods. So you'll have like a pod of critical care. You'll have a pod of like your fast track, lean track area. You're gonna have a pod of say your generalized care, which is like your abdominal pains and things like that. Make sure you know where those rooms are located. Number four, you're gonna wanna speak to your supervisor regarding scheduling and regarding how they wanna be communicated with. Um, a lot of supervisors um, want you to text them. I personally am very uncomfortable with texting sometimes. However, it does give you a little bit of a paper trail um, in case you ever need to refer back to something. Um, however, some want you to email them, text them, call them, whatever the case may be. Find out what that communication um, is that that professional wants to have with you. In addition, you might not even have a schedule yet. You might just show up for your first day and not have a schedule. That'll be your chance to say, hey, let's sit down, let's go over what your needs are, let's go over what my needs are. Some places allow you to self-schedule. Um, however, it's very rare that I've seen that. Most places actually will schedule you. So just make sure you go in with an open mind. Remember, it's only for 13 weeks and you're all set. So number five, you're learning a brand new computer system. I think one of the worst things is not knowing how to use a computer system. Um, many places will actually give you training prior. It'll either be online modules or you'll actually sit in a class and actually learn the computer system. I know specifically for the ER, um, we don't chart as much say as maybe the floors do. So we don't get as much computer training as maybe the floors would. Um, however, make sure that you know your computer system. Your first day really should be focused around that and learning how to appropriately document versus patient care. Going into travel nursing, you should already know how to do patient care. So you're going to be good in regards to that, but make sure you know that computer system. Six, you're going to be making new colleagues. 
like anywhere, you're not going to know the people, you're not going to know the environment, you're not going to know who to go to. Find those information out. So if you speak with your preceptor and you say, hey, you know, if I need an ultrasound IV, who do you think I should go to? Oh, this person does it, this person does it, this person does it. Or, hey, you know, if I, like, if I really need a strong guy to help me with something, do we have any strong men around here or strong women? Because, you know, we can do what the guys can do, I'm just saying. But make sure you know who those people are. Make sure you know who your resources are. I mean, these nurses have obviously been there. They work there full time. That's their job. So they know who to go to. But with you being new, you might not know. So make sure you find out who those resource people are. Lastly, have a good time. I know work can be stressful. I've been through it. I've been through several assignments that have stressed me out beyond all belief. Know that it's only 13 weeks. You can get through it. I believe in you. But just have a try to have a good time. I mean, you're in a new place, you're going to be experiencing new things. This is the reason why you decided to do travel nursing. Unless you're just doing it for the money, that's different. But most of us do it because we actually want to travel and we want to see new places. Just have a good time. It's okay. I know it can be anxiety ridden. I've been there. I feel you. Trust me, I know. But just get in there, do your job, have a smile on your face, get out, go home and get some sleep and have fun on your days off. You're usually only there three or four days a week and then you have that rest of that time off. Enjoy it. Believe me. Trust me. If you need some advice, DM me on Instagram or Facebook. I'm here for you. I would love to give you more advice regarding this, but just have a good time. That's all I got for you on what to expect on your first day on a travel assignment. I hope this is really helpful to you. I know it can be absolutely nerve-wracking to start a new travel assignment. That's why I'm going to be posting another video called the seven tips to overcome your first day travel assignment anxiety. I hope that that also helps you. If you want, you can follow me on my social media. I have Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, as well as my blog, creationiron.com, where I go more into detail regarding the topic that we discussed today. Um, otherwise, I hope you all have a wonderful day, and I look forward to speaking with you again soon. Bye!